so the design is done so let's go to the plan let's pick a plan since most of them are typical and let's see what they are okay so we have these beams now it has provided us area of steel for this beam so we can see on top at this corner is 128 millimeter square per meter and at the bottom we need 121 millimeter square per meter at the middle it has given us this at this other support it has given us all of this so what we do now is we to get this you just take your calculator and press 128 divided by the area of steel so for example i want to use y16 and i know one bar of y16 is 201 so i'll get 128 divided by 201 so you can see it's less than one so i can just see one y16 or i can get it 12 so what's the area of steel for 12 mm that is pi so for 12 mm the area of steel for 12 mm is 113 so i can just see 128 divided by 113 that is 1.1 i can see 2y12 on top 2y12 at the bottom for these particular beams i can use them as i like okay now we can see some beams are failing so let's see why this beam is failing i'll select this beam right click on it so you can see it's telling me it's failing in shear steel so i need to either increase the section size or i increase the concrete strength so we've seen for the beams why they are failing so it's under way to interpret shear again so to bring you come back here come to your arrow select it and you see display design info to so select it we've done this for longitudinal reinforcing you can see the rebar percentage now it has told you we don't pass 0.64 percent that's what we are using currently and the code has told us for beams it should not exceed four percent at the tension side and four percent at the compression side so we've seen rebar percentage the next thing we can do is shear reinforcing apply so you can see our shear reinforcing somewhere here okay then we can choose torsion reinforcing you can see whichever one you want and continue moving so let's see our shear reinforcing i can choose shear plus torsional reinforcing and click ok let's see because we've seen this one field so it's failing at shear and torsion at this particular point so once i select it right click on it you can see it's shear with this unicorn six you can see it so i'll go to details this is what the calculation sheet looks like and fit to page so i just increase this and click ok so let's scroll through and let's see what's making it so you can see the shear force now in euro code it should not exceed 45 degree but in most cases it's always 21 degree so you can see this now is about 45 degree which is exceeding the shear capacity this is the vrcd and this is the max okay the area of steel is not providing at that particular point because it has exceeded this so what we need to do now is to increase the section for that particular member the shear stress due to shear force and torsion together exceed the maximum allowable so what we need to do now is either increase the concrete strength for the beam or increase the section for that particular beam 